Kitronic Inventors Kit for the BBC Microbit Experiment 7. In this experiment, we'll be using a motor with the fan attachment, as you can see here, to generate a voltage. The voltage is generated when the motor spins by blowing on it. This voltage is then read by an analog input on the BBC microbit. We'll then press button A and the microbit will display the highest value that it has read. So if I reset the microbit and then press button A, we can see it's displaying a value of 5. This is a low value as the range of values it can display are between 0 and 1023. If I now blow on the motor and again press button A, we can see that it's now displaying 286, it's a larger value. Now I blow on the motor really hard, as it spins faster, you can see it shows a value of 822. So the values being recorded and displayed are increasing as the motor spins faster because it's generating a larger voltage. The circuit itself is quite simple to construct. It uses three jumper wires, two which connect to the breakout board here, and then one that's used on the breakout board itself. Ensure these are in the correct positions. We then have two resistors, which again, we have to make sure are connected in the correct way. And the bit that we really need to make sure are connected correctly is the terminal block. So we can see the two connections on the bottom here are obscured by the terminal block when it's pushed in to the breadboard. So often just if I pull it out a little bit, we can tilt it over and I can then check and view that these are connected to the correct pins. So that's the built circuit. And it displays a value where we press button A representing the largest value gen of voltage generated by the motor when it spins. For more accessories and project ideas for the BBC Microbit, please visit kitronic.co.uk.